YouTube, what's up? This is your man, Big B Production 100. I got a great video for you guys today. Today in this short video, I'll be showing you guys three ways to improve your Mac's performance without new hardware. First things first, number one, only run the applications that you need. If you're not using the application, just quit it. You know, don't just close it, just quit it. For instance, you have some Mac users that open up Final Cut Pro, but they're working on a document inside pages or something like that. So what's the point of having Final Cut Pro open? and running if you're not using it so just close it so for instance like right now we're not using Google Chrome I'll close that down now unlike on Windows you know on Windows when you just hit the X you basically quit the application but on the Mac it's different when you hit the X you just basically will close the window you won't close you you won't quit the application I mean all right now that we have that out of the way number two trash I'm gonna talk about your trash when you clean something off of your Mac or whatever, let's just say your desktop or whatever, and you trash it, some Mac users tend to forget that they have a whole bunch of stuff in their trash can, and they forget to empty out your trash. Now, I know you're wondering right about now, like, why does he have all this stuff inside his trash can, and he's talking about cleaning the trash can out. But I'm going to get to that in just a second, and I'm going to show you why I have all these files that's in my trash. I don't want to delete them just yet because I want to show you guys something. All right, that's number two. Always make sure that you empty out your trash. Don't forget that. All right, number three, deleting old application folders still on your Mac. Now, I know you're saying that you probably use a bunch of different applications such as um, Apps App, App Cleaner, and stuff like that. But it's actually a way that you can just go in to just double check to just make sure that you're getting the files and you're trashing the files that's left behind fully. So I'm about to show you guys how you can just go in and just double check on your own to just make sure that you are deleting all the files that's left behind with those applications. Because sometimes we may forget to just, you know, uninstall the application with the uninstaller and we'll just take the file. I mean, we'll just take the application itself and just drag it to the trash. But you don't want to do that. So let me show you what I mean. You want to start by opening up your finder. Once you have find open, you want to go up to where it says go. Once you have go open, you want to go down and stroll down to where it says library. Click on your library. Right here under application support, you want to open that. All right, we're going to open this up so you guys can see this a little bit better. Now, right here is where we have all the good stuff. This is all the applications. Now, going back to my trash here. Now, I cleaned out some applications in here, let's just say about like three weeks ago. But I forgot, you know, like most, I forgot to use the uninstaller. And these are the files that was left behind which is Adobe Photoshop CS5. I was using that, but I'm not using it anymore because I have a ton of photo editing applications or whatever that I tend to use a lot more than Photoshop. Plus, I have Photoshop elements. So, I was using Cool Iris. I still had that left behind, and we had a whole bunch of other stuff. We had Read Now and everything else. So, basically, you can just go through here, through your application support, and if you just so happen to find a file that you don't need anymore because you no longer have that application, you can just delete the file by just simply taking that file, dragging it to the trash can. Once you're there, just release it. And basically, once you have completely like went through all of your files, I have 145 items in this folder. I'm gonna close this down now. Again, I'm gonna show you guys how to get to that folder again. You wanna open up Finder, go to Go, Library, go to Application Support, and just go through here. And if you see a, a, a folder, like uh, let's just say Handbrake, I'm using Handbrake that's the application that I need but if I wasn't using it I would just take it and trash it and you can save I mean you can have like a lot of space free on your Mac just by emptying out this folder with applications that's left behind, well folders that's left behind as far as with all these files so you can just go through all the files and the ones that you don't need because you no longer have the application again just trash it and you'll be surprised you might free up like at least two gigs so once you have done all that you want to just go to your trash you can uh, go up to file I mean uh, you can go up to finder and you can actually do a secure empty trash and that will like erase everything so it's wiping out 321 items because you always have stuff left behind so it's like writing over the process like three or four times to just make sure that you erase everything as far as those files it won't leave anything behind so you can do that a secure erase or you can just simply just do a regular erase by right click and empty trash this is your man big b production 100 please rate comment and subscribe if you guys like the video and hopefully you guys have saved a lot of space on your mac holla at you